Hi my dear student, today we will discuss chapter 3 theory of equations. Example number 3.24 Solve 2x minus 3 into 6x minus 1 into 3x minus 2 into x minus 2 minus 5 equal to 0. There was a mistake in the question that is in the textbook. I changed here. Okay. According to this question, I am going to solve the problem. Let us see. When you make a pair between these two 12x square and the year 18 something like that. So it won't satisfy it. And make a pair between these two. 6x square and these two will be 6x square. So therefore 2x minus 3 into 3x minus 2. And this will be 6x minus 1. And this will be x minus 2. Minus 5 equal to 0. When you multiply 3 2s are 6x square. It will be minus 9x and minus 2 into 2, minus 4x and the product is 6, minus into minus 3 2s are 6. Here, 6x square minus 1 into x minus x, minus 2 into 6 minus 12x and the product is plus 2, minus 5 equal to 0. Simplify 6x square, it will be minus 13x plus 6 and this will be 6x square. Here also I am getting minus 13x plus 2 minus 5 equal to 0. Here 6x square minus 13x are same. So let us take some y. 6x square minus 13x. So this one will be y plus 6. And this one will be y plus 2 minus 5 equal to 0. When you multiply y square plus 8y plus 12 minus 5 equal to 0. Got it? So, y square plus 8y, 12 minus 5, 7. When you factorize, 7 ones are 7, 7 plus 1, 8. So, directly, y plus 7, y plus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, y will be minus 7, comma, minus 1. I will repeat, here I make a pair between these two and these two. So, when you multiply, I am getting 6x square minus 13x as same. So, I will take this is y. It will be y plus 6, y plus 2 minus 5 equal to 0. When you simplify, finally I am getting y square plus 8y plus 7 equal to 0. When you factorize y plus 7, y plus 1 we are getting. So when you equate to 0, we are getting minus 7 and minus 1. Now y equal to 6x square minus 13x. Therefore, 6x square minus 13x equal to y which is equal to minus 7. When minus 7 comes to the left hand side, it becomes plus 7 equal to 0. The product is 6 7 are 42. The sum is negative. So both the numbers are negative. Minus into minus plus, minus minus gives the sum. Same number. 6 7 are minus into minus plus, 6 7 are 42. Minus 6 minus 7, minus 30. So therefore, it will be minus 1. That is x minus 1, 6x minus 7 equal to 0. It gives x equal to 1 comma 7 by 6. So when you substitute 6x square minus 13x equal to minus 7. When you factorize, I am getting finally x equal to 1 comma 7 by 6. And I have one more value for y which is equal to minus 1. Substitute here. So therefore again we have 6x square minus 13x equal to y that is minus 1. When it comes to the left hand side it will be plus 1. Here I cannot able to factorize directly. I am going to use formula. Let us see. x equal to a 6 b minus 13 c 1. x equal to minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4 into a into c by 2 a minus into minus plus 13 square root of 169 24. So it will be when you subtract 5, 145 by 12. So in this case, the values of x gives 1, 7 by 6, 13 plus root 145 by 12 and 13 minus root 145 by 12. So in this case, degree of uh, the given equation is 4. It has 4 values. So I make a pair like this. Finally, I am getting x6, x square minus 13x of same. I assume to y. I am getting a quadratic equation in terms of y. It gives the value minus 7 and minus 1. 
So I want to equate this minus 7 and minus 1 with this y that is 6x square minus 13x. When 6x square minus 13x equal to minus 7, it gives 1 and 7 by 6. When you equate this 6x square minus 13x equal to minus 1, it gives 13 plus or minus root 145 by 12. So in this case, the value of x will be 1 comma 7 by 6 comma 13 plus or minus root 145 by 12. Got it?